Well, even with the date on the calendar, it's looking a lot like Christmas. In this next interview, we say season's greetings to Kim Rowan to talk about her work with Adoption Option Midland and also the Ennis Center of Saginaw to bring Santa early for some local children. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Two wonderful nonprofits. Mm -hmm. For people who are not familiar with your work, can you explain what you do there? Okay, well, Ennis Center is located in Saginaw, and Adoption Option is Midland. They're full-service foster care centers, but they do a lot more. They do um, parenting classes, they do adoptions, they license foster parents, so they do a lot of good in our community for, for foster children. And we don't realize how many foster children there are in Michigan, do we? There's a lot, and they're all through um, Michigan, because often children are removed. There's no beds in the area that they are, and they have to go to a bed somewhere in Michigan. So both these agencies would place them, and they can be all over the place in Michigan. Oh, wow. Now, you started a village about three years ago. Tell us about that. Three years ago, I decided to, I used to be a foster parent myself. Okay. I'm an adoptive parent as well. So I wanted to be um, part of the solution. So I teamed up with both of these um, nonprofit agencies, and for the last three years, we've done some good things. That's wonderful. And tell us about this event, and uh, people can bring gift donations as well? Correct. We're having a Christmas in July. We usually do it at Christmas, but we decided to see what we could do in July. So um, it is July 21st at the Willow in Bay City. Um, you can bring a Christmas item for um, children 0 to 18 hygiene products, blankets, and when you bring something, you will automatically get a free raffle ticket to put when our great prize is donated for wonderful people in our community. And those, uh, you know, hygiene products, blankets, those are needed. Can you explain why? Well, they're needed because we put them in the hands of our foster parents and kinship parents because often foster kids are removed, but they don't have anything. So this gets them started. And it also can put diapers in the hands of a birth parent who are starting their visits, but maybe doesn't have anything and it gets them started. So having these things on hand is important. The, the Christmas items, of course, will be saved for Christmas, but the other things, and we also want to remember that we do have teenagers in the foster care system and everybody likes to buy for those little ones but um, gift cards for our teens and blankets to watch TV. Um, how many of us are parents and our children watch TV and they put a blanket on? It's important for foster kids to have their own possessions no matter where they go. So this would be something for them, for them to use and it's theirs. And what's wonderful is this is very close to your heart. You mentioned it just a minute ago, but I know in the past you've talked about fostering children mm -hmm. and then adopting children. You know, what is that journey like? Mm, it's, it's, it can be a struggle, of mm -hmm. course. Um, when I was a foster parent, I did it for five years. I had 45 children in those five years. Wow. And I adopted three of them. It's very rewarding, but it comes with struggles. These children have struggles, and you mm -hmm. have to be willing to work with them during their struggles for as limited or as long as the time that they're with you. But the great thing is with all the work that you do, you're changing lives as well. It's just amazing. Um, we want to remind everybody, so this Christmas in July event, it is happening Sunday, July 21st at 2 p.m. at the Willow Lodge in Bay City. Again, 2 p.m. Sunday, July 21st. And for more information, you can visit Adoption Option, Inc. or the Ennis Center for Children in Saginaw. And for families thinking about uh, wanting to help out, what would you say? Um, sometimes people can't be foster parents, but if you come to the event, you'll figure out how to do that if you're inclined to do that, because we need foster parents in Michigan. But we also need to support the children in the system. They're not there because of anything that they've done wrong. So we need to let us know that in Michigan we support our foster children and those who are taking care of them. So if you want to come out on Sunday, Santa will be there. Love it. Yeah, see Santa dressed in a little bit of a warm attire and get your list in early when he takes them back. And Oh, I love that. I love it. All right, Kim Rowan, thanks so much for being here.